Now, one of the things that we are seeing in the fast growing EV industry in China is that competition is becoming more tough. Uh, EV companies are having to compete not only on sales but on the technology which they are putting on their EV cars. I mean, one of the things that is making so many of the Chinese uh, EV cars or some of the Chinese EV cars to struggle when it comes to sales is that they lack when it comes to technology and therefore, as a result, they struggle when it comes to generating sales on a month to month. I mean, one of the things that, of course, the new CEO said a couple of uh, weeks, a couple of months, uh, a month or two ago, he indicated that for them to remain relevant or to continue growing in the fast EV space is that technology, they have to continue advancing or uh, growing their technology. That is one thing that will lead into them continuing to uh, generate sales because one of the things that a consumer looks into when they are buying any car, it can be gas car, EV car, is the technology that comes with that car. And I must say, in the fast growing EV space, NIO has become that company that technology wise, it's not many EV companies that can compete with NIO. And therefore, this will result NIO uh, flourishing or doing well even in the future, which is why I'm heavily invested onto this stock. I mean, last week we just saw some news coming from Xpeng or Xpeng announcing that second half of next year they will be um, launching a hybrid or they are going to launch their first hybrid which shows you the kind of competition that is in this full EV space. I mean today over and above that someone shared the news of uh, Lee Oro having to postpone their second EV or SUV full EV to uh, from late this year to early next year and the reason behind this apparently it's because of the major changes that they are introducing to the vehicle which they had planned or on that suv which they had planned to unveil this year which again it shows you that technology is very important it is very important that when you come to full evs you make sure that you put in as much hard work as possible you don't want to spend in terms of r and d's so that at least you can research and develop the latest technology that is so unique to your brand that will attract people into coming and wanting your brand. I mean, over and above the technology that you find on Tunio Cars, when it comes to a technology of battery replenishment, which is your battery swapping station, Neo is already ahead of all of the EV cars globally because there is no EV maker deploying this kind of technology and therefore it makes people uh, to be so attracted into buying your cars because of that technology i mean imagine you own a new car you subscribe to bus and you see yourself performing a battery shop i mean there is no good feeling right now in the auto um, or in the fast ev growing industry than doing that or than going to a battery shopping station and completing a battery shop that is a technology that is so unique it's so amazing and it is the technology that will make neo to continue selling well in the market because over and above the charging infrastructure which neo deploys neo users or those that buy neo cars have got an option to go subscribe to bus batteries a service which will entail them of course going to battery shopping stations and enjoy uh, swapping the battery in your cars which not only helping you when it comes to uh, taking off or lifting off the responsibility of the battery on your shoulders but it also helps uh, uh, the cities, the countries, wherever you see this battery shopping station in terms of grid stabilization. So I'm happy, man. I'm excited. And I think this is one of the things that shows you that Neo it is doing everything absolutely well, which is why, though they did not launch a completely new car this year, they are doing uh, quite well. They are selling good deliveries over and above what so many institutions were also or had also projected or had thought i mean the beginning of the year because of neo not launching any new models this year so many of the institutions came and said they are bearish on to neo because of uh, not so many models on because of neo not launching any models this year therefore this will result in neo sales decreasing which we are seeing the opposite and that is neo sales have grown so much in a way that this year from the new brand, we are going to easily see new selling over 200,000 from just the new main brand, which is something that is just so, so incredible. And for Neo to get to that, you know that on average from now on, they have to sell like 18,000 deliveries, which knowing the new Neo, 
they are going to make sure that they keep the pace of delivering over 20,000 deliveries. So I'm happy, I'm excited, and uh, I think because of the technology or the R and this that money that you know, it's spending heavily uh, for their infrastructure on their cars, it shows or it's paying off by generating more sales for Neo. It's paying off by a lot of consumers wanting to come and buy Neo, though it's quite pricey or it's expensive. I mean, let's face it, Neo cars are not that cheap. They are premium EVs and therefore they don't come cheap like most of your expang, of course, EV cars, which are mainly for the mass market. So Neo cars are more like for middle upper income earners, which seeing them selling this well, I think you and me should definitely agree one thing and that is Neo cars, they are selling well because of the technology that's on the car because of the after sales services which allows the users who have subscribed to bus to go utilize battery shopping station that is part of the reason or the main reason why neo is succeeding i mean yesterday we we're talking of a story whereby in netherlands within a space of 48 hours um, neo had 41 reservation of people wanting to come view the cars and they were able to turn those uh, reservations into uh, 31 sales or they sold 31 vehicles from the 41 of course uh, appointments which they had from the consumers in netherlands which shows you that neo it is a company that is doing exceptionally well and part of the reason why so most of the people out of the 31 that bought in netherlands they bought it because of the good reviews they see neo having even in china where whoever is driving neo which shows you that this is some top-notch news and it will therefore lead into con neo continuing succeeding even in the future otherwise with all that i just thought i'd just give you this quick update tell me what you think about this i think blue sky is coming those that are persevering will definitely be rewarded uh, in the long term otherwise that's all from me and god bless you all